Hey, what's up guys, it's Vinny, and you're watching my next best. In this video, we've got uh, UFI security floodlight camera system, which is the the Cam 2, or the, or the Cam version. It's not the Cam 2 Pro, which is the, the reason why, which has got the pan and tilt, which you can use to uh, pan and tilt across using your UFI security app. Um, yeah, this, this is the one that uh, is pretty much the manual one, which you can you have to sort of pan and tilt manually. Um, it's got the PR sensor, 2K resolution camera, and two LED lights. Um, 2K resolution, as it says, um, and AI, human detection, free and secure local storage. You could uh, have your SD card. It's also got its own internal storage of probably eight gigabytes or something. That's what uh, this box looks like. Uh, it says free local storage. Um, it's got some storage inside. Um, yeah, so some specs on to the left of the box. Um, it says enjoy access anywhere, la la la, and live recording, instant notifications, multi user access, uh, smart alarm, active, active activity zones, two way audio, and you can obviously download the app pretty much as a standard. One of the best of the camera um, models out there. They've got a pretty decent range solar cameras and other types of type cameras uh, which can be connected to solar panels separately or like mains powered this one's a mains powered front light camera system and as you can see in this picture it shows how you have your um, camera system connected and the floodlights can sort of be adjusted in the direction you'd want uh, from my perspective i've got side access and i want the camera to be twisted on um, on the left and the floodlight basically turn on on either side essentially that the access is on to the left and if someone's like move if there's a movement and someone's entering i'd want the lights to be turned on across the whole pathway uh, so yeah that's that's the idea um we've looked at the ie geek which was 2600 lumens this is 2000 so this is slightly less bright than um the ie geek uh, but, the, but it's got the 2k full resolution uh, full HD resolution. That one's got the uh, 1080p, so that's uh, uh, pretty uh, pretty much a difference there. Uh, some specs are more like uh, upgraded. Some specs are sort of downgraded. Uh, but this is uh, like about at the moment. It was uh, 159 quid, um, 159 pounds um, in the UK. But there's a sale going on or price reduction at the moment, which uh, has got this to 119 pounds and ie geek was like 78 quid um for when it was purchased yeah so ip65 has proof pretty much as standard military grade data security encryption and all that kind of stuff detect record and alert motion activated brightness um free and low secure local storage to the audio and works with voice assistant so alexa google home all that stuff it does support nothing else just some um Running information and information around the serial numbers and that kind of stuff. So let's just take this thing out. Uh, pretty much neatly packed. And that takes a bit longer. So we've got uh, the cover for the quick to take this thing out. Hopefully there's no more stickers. Can I put it on together? Um, is there something onto the back? No, nothing. So you can just simply push and get the top cover out of the way. There we are. And open from here. Right here, nothing else otherwise on the box, pretty much the same. And this is pretty much what we've got in the box the camera system itself. Um, this the whole cover system itself is quite nice and strong, right? So, okay, fine. So, it's a pretty hefty camera, pretty big. Um, I wasn't 
I was not sure if it would be that big, but yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty big. Um, the light system is oh, stuck at the moment. <laughs> oh, go on. Right. Uh, how do I take that? Okay, let's, uh, let's just keep it as is for now. Um, let me just take this one out first. See if this comes off. No, it doesn't. Let's just leave it for now. Yeah, so at the moment, uh, yeah, this is pretty much how the camera system looks like. I'm going to take tear these uh, seals off of the camera. Um, and this is pretty massive, as you can see. It's a, It's got a big sensor in the front and the lights are also movable. So you can obviously twist and turn and move them around in a specific direction um, so what i've realized is uh, this camera as well is got like very limited range of motion although you can obviously do um up to up down oh it's quite sunny now outside um wow okay so you can obviously do a little bit of uh, movement let me just fix the um, right okay so yeah it's quite limited in its range of motion um as you can see slightly less than what the ie geek is able to achieve um the cable as standard and the motion sensors like at the moment it's got this cover onto the top so if you were to connect this let's say if i was to connect this to my side axis i would have to place the camera like this which would which would probably cover a certain spot but uh oh it's oh it's come off so right so the camera has come off as well so yeah the whole ball and socket joint is taken out and right so i'd have to get the screw out and put this back on right so yeah so that's that's the problem with this camera um although i had to test it it probably is better in terms of its video clarity and motion sensing and other things um, than the IE Geek uh, has is obviously quite expensive and we we'll have to sort of look at uh, what else we've got inside of the box. So what we get inside the box is the mountain bracket which is nearly the same size it's just uh, slightly more in terms of its width it's uh, nearly the same size probably you could get the idea the drilling is going to be pretty strand standard and they've got this thing going on. okay all right so you could obviously fix these plugs back on if you don't need them um in case you have got the <clears throat> direct cable coming in you could use this to take it out and get the cables right out <clears throat> sorry and the the connections are pretty much standard connect these in um, and your main supply comes in from here uh, light earth neutral pretty straightforward and if you were to get the cables up for somewhere oh, that's a bit off and off situation doesn't make that doesn't make any sense so if you were to connect um uh, if you were to uh, put this onto a wall which is like flat how would you then get the cables out there's nothing nothing on the sides Although it's a pretty decent size, I've got and, um, the the existing bracket that I've got is pretty much the same size, but uh, there's no way to get the cable out. So you'd have to sort of connect it on top of um, the mains uh, supply and where it's coming from. So use the use the back entrance or the side entrance. This looks like uh, the the entrance to to use for the cabling, um, but it's a bit awkward because it doesn't get, give you the some nice cutouts to use to connect the cable, uh, which is a bit odd. Um, but yeah, it's got the fixings, it's got the wall plug, it's got the screws, and it's got some um, rain protection or the IP65 protection um, thingy over there. So yeah, so we've got the brackets. I'll, I'll do some testing later on to see how the camera face. Uh, but yeah, it's got also got some sort of documentation in the box. And there's nothing else in the box, of course, as you can see. So in the documentation, you get obviously some information. Of, um, you've got this hanging thing. I don't 
don't really know why I thought this is for. Um, but uh, 24 7 monitoring, all these different stickers, if you like. Um, quick start guide gives you, gives you the idea of how to mount, uh, how the fixings would uh, go onto your wall. Um, and yeah, as, you, as, as this picture says, it has to go um, off of this specific uh, hole, which is uh, which is to go to the to the main area. So if you've got a flat wall, wire coming out. Uh, in my case, I've got an isolation box, and the the wire is coming out, and it has to have a cutout onto the side to connect to the to the floodlight or whatever light you're using. Um, I, I can have a big problem to get this thing to work. So yeah, so it's a bit of a hassle, really. Um, yeah, but other than that, this looks pretty slick, um, pretty standard um, as uh, as the floodlight installation kit that we've got. Um, and there's nothing else in the box. Um, I'm going to do another video as as usual, as I always promise, um, to get some sort of a view for yourselves, to give you an idea of how the camera fares, how the motion detection works. They're normally one of the best ones out there in the market. Uh, the cameras are brilliant and the whole setup is hassle free although the ie geek is also really good i've used the ie geek it looks really good the, the app is really responsive the video footage is pretty decent and the the overall clarity of the video footage is also good so i'm sort of no not biased at all uh, from my from opinion point of view uh, UFI security has got a 2K camera, which might be really better, better than this one, but uh, the whole installation seems a little bit off uh, from what I've got. Um, but uh, yeah, if you will find out and I'll le let everyone know, give you a better understanding of how we get to, through this installation. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, this was just an unboxing, just to give you an idea. This has come off, as you can see. It's got limited range of motion, as you might have gathered. Um, it doesn't go as far um, across uh, to your left and right, uh, pan and tilt, manual pan and tilt. Um, it's, it's just a bit of, from, from my perspective as well. Uh, but I'm, I've always loved UV security cameras. Um, yeah, so nothing else to present, to, uh, nothing else to share at the moment. If, there's, if you've got any questions or any specific concerns, um, do let me know. I'll post them. Please post them in the comments section and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Like this video, share this video and subscribe to my next best. Take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.